This is Dave Kahn with XMD here with Insomnium. Jeez, I'm Nilo, the vocalist and bassist of the band. So now you guys are from Finland, correct? Yes. So what's it like touring the United States? Oh, well, it's the third time for us here, and every tour has been very good. And clearly, every time we have gone forward, each time gained more fans. So it's always a pleasant surprise to come here and see that you have a strong following already here and so on. This tour has been like very good, very good shows every night in USA and Canada both. So it's been very good, and we are already planning the next tour. So. Already planning going. the next tour, yeah. huh? We'll get into that a little down the, in the interview. So your latest release has been, uh, if I remember right, Shadows of the Dying Sun, which was released last year, if I remember right? Yeah. How's, the, how's that going, and how's the fans reacting? The feedback has been really good. Reviews have been very good. Uh, we've ended up in many of these year's best lists and got some awards and nominations so uh, it's been a very su successful year for us and clearly we moved for forward both in Europe and in, in America so at the moment it lo looks very good what's it like to be touring with like dark tranquility tranquility who's been around for 20 plus years and is well established what's it like to be touring with bands like them well, we talk to well, it's very, very easy. We know the guys beforehand. We toured together in Europe, so we know each other very well, and it's a very nice and easy tour. Like uh, we both bands have done so many tours that uh, we know how to how it works here and how you make it work and uh, how you, how you behave so that it's nice for yourself and everyone else. So it's been very easy tour for everyone. Now, with you guys being from Finland, you guys play the Europe scene a lot, and then you guys tour the world. What's it like with going from Europe's crowd scene to the States and to other continents? Well, of course, it's a, a bit different everywhere, but uh, and it feels a bit more exotic to come here, like compared to Europe. There we toured a lot more there, uh, but the fans here are really dedicated. Uh, and they really support the band. They travel really long way. Like people can drive 1,000 kilometers to see a band, or they fly to a concert. And really dedicated fans. So uh, and usually, uh, in every show, there's a really good crowd. Mosh pit starts during the intro <laughs> right away, or something like that. So uh, the U.S. audience is very good. Yes. So talking about mosh pit. Which kind of pits would you rather see, the, the hardcore pit or the actual old school circle pit at a show? Uh, I don't actually care. As long as I see some movement there, usually you get a good feeling that, okay, the crowd enjoys, enjoys it. Uh, 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 any, any kind of mosh pit is always, always cool, but sometimes they get so crazy that you get kind of worried that all the little girls in the front row will they be crushed and you can be kind of worried, but usually everyone's safe. Sometimes yeah. I think the women are tougher than us men that are actually in the yeah. pit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, what is the plans for 2015 for this band? What are your guys' goals? And well, we have a lot of tours coming. In March, we have a European tour with uh, Enciferum and Omnium which means Marcus has to play two shows every night because he, he plays in his Omnium and Omnium Gatherum. <laughs> but well, that's his problem. Uh, <laughs> but it's going to be a fun tour for sure. Uh, the plan is to go to Asia in the spring, um, and it seems that it will work. Uh, then there are festivals, and at the moment, the plan is to come back to America in the autumn. Um, let's see when we can re release the news and if it will work out or not, but that's what we're trying to do now. Now, do you guys write a lot of your music while you're on the road, or do you guys wait until you get home, take a little break, and then get going to write? Yeah, on the road it's kind of hard to concentrate, concentrate on making new stuff, so... Like, you, you need some privacy and time and just 
time with your guitar and computer, and that's how it starts. But here, you, when you have a one hour there, one hour there, you just it's hard to even start the process. So usually we tour. Here we do what we do, and when we go home, then we start writing new materials. What are some of the favorite places that you look forward to every time you go out on tour to go and play? Well, in North America, of course, uh, New York, uh, Los Angeles are there's always big crowds there. And usually, we get to play in these very, very nice big venues. Uh, but uh, cities, cities like uh, Vancouver, Montreal has, have been really nice and. Uh, in every place we try to do the tourist stuff and see the city and here we this was, was the first time in Seattle that I got to see the city at all so we walked through the waterfront and yep. there, there was a nice restaurant there it looked really nice so you got to go so. down to Pike Street and yeah. actually get to see what Seattle's about yeah and it looked, looked really nice and sometimes you're just stuck in the venue and the bus and you spend the whole day there but when it's possible we try to look around and see the cities so who's some of your personal influences that have influenced your style of playing and singing? I think the bands that we were listening in the 90s when we were starting the band, uh, a lot of Swedish and Finnish bands like uh, Finnish bands like Amorphis and Sentence and Dark Tranquility and In Flames, Old Beth, At The Gates, Dissections. Stuff like that, so they're probably the, the ones that have influenced us the most when we started. But uh, of course, we can get inspiration and ideas from different sources, and uh, we try to develop our sound all the time and invent something new that we wouldn't just be spinning our wheels. So. And out of all the songs that you guys have gotten, what, are, what songs are your favorite to play on stage that just you can't wait to get up there and play and watch the crowd's reaction. That's a very difficult one. Um, well, uh, for example, on this tour, we play uh, where the last wave broke, about halfway through our set. And usually at that point, the crowd gets really crazy. So like in the beginning, they're kind of, oh, okay, unless they're kind of warming up, but at that point, it usually starts working really well and the more, the more spitting starts, so. For example, that has been working really well on this tour. So now we we all know that us Americans are back ass words. We call football our American football is actually not football. It's yeah. something that's thrown by hand. To where in Europe, true football is what I loved playing growing up, soccer. Do you guys follow American football and with what's going on with the Super Bowl coming up with Seattle and New England? Actually, uh, I don't. I know some of the Dutch and quality guys follow it, but like I follow soccer. So that's that's my, my favorite sport. What team is your favorite? Uh, the, the AS Ro Rome team for Roma, Italy. That's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Uh, I see. Well, once again, this is Dave with XMD here with Insomnium. They're opening up and touring with Dark Tranquility. We're at El Corazon. Need to get down and catch their show while they're on this tour. It's a pretty wild one that they're on. Thank you for your time. Thank and, you very much. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. Cheers.